Man, honestly, I want to start making more of these just like talking videos, just straight up talking to you guys about what's going on with me, my thoughts, uh, comments and things I've come across. Because um, I feel like a lot of people like to hear, you know, people's thoughts on certain subjects and things. And today's subject is, you know, what am I chasing after? What satisfaction am I looking for in life? Now, for those who don't know me, my name is Teron Beckham. I go by FB Aftermath. I'm mainly known for um, getting pulled onto the NFL without any college experience. Just had a crazy pro day, um, crazy numbers, you know, trying to go for running back. The last time I had played football was high school, and then I got another chance in 2016. To stay in the lane of this video, after my tryouts and everything, I was going viral everywhere. Um, WWE gave me an offer to try out for their, um, you know, the WWE. Back in 2016, um, everything went good, um, but the offer that was given was, wasn't was there, and I honestly couldn't afford to even take the offer um, because I would have been actually losing out on money at that time, and, you know, because I relied heavily on sponsorships and things, and pretty much once I had signed that contract um, back then, I would have had to like drop certain sponsorships and things uh, because they, they, WWE already has their own connections and contracts with um, sponsors and I wouldn't be able to be with them. So like, for example, like I was with Reebok and WWE, you know, they had tap out. So it's kind of self-explanatory right there. So it just didn't work in my favor at the time, but things are a bit different now. Um, I, I, I want to just like lay it out basically on, you know, what, what my mind is, what I'm trying to do. And the first thing I want to get out of the way is I'm not doing these things to how, what, how does somebody describe it? I'm not doing these things to, to, for, as a, as a escape way to, to fame or anything. I, my, me personally, I only know, you know, how to use my mouth physically I talk you know sometimes I talk good I'm funny you know comedy entertainment and my body right so I'm damn near a stripper <laughs> like, like you know what I'm saying like I know how to use my mouth and my body um I know how to you know entertain people I know how to perform and those are the things I'm good at you know and I'm not really fully into like you know um I'm not really good with other things or I haven't really tried to be good with other things to be honest but I like to be physically active right there are very few things that require you to you know be a you know mouth worthy entertainer and physically perform that pay well let's be honest you know it's either sports or you know you're doing labor work and of course I am a big personality, so I would rather be in the sports or entertainment business. And that's, you know, where I see myself. And this is the thing. This is how I came across the thought that I think, you know, wrestling is where I should be. Uh, years and years ago, I used to be in, in high school. I used to be something called a desperado. Now, what a desperado is, you were it was it was an extracurricular activity I had to do to graduate high school. And what a Desperado was is it was damn near like it was a country cheerleader, right? Country cheerleader, jeans, boots, had the hat on, we did a little two-step, flip your girl right around, right? It was fun. I enjoyed it, uh, even though I ended up dropping out of that school and going to another one. Um, but um, it was something I caught on to very quickly. And it when I go to my wrestling practice, it reminds me of a time where I was doing something similar, which was the Desperados training. You know, we had our girls. It was a guy and girl always. And um, we had certain a routine and we had to do like barrel roll, flip, you know, have them by one hand, flip them up, you know, throw them up in the air, do all these tricks, the roundabout, like all these things. And it, it makes me think that un, unknowingly, I was already preparing myself for this, you know, like this whole time from that day forward and everything that I've done since then, I was doing everything outside of the ring that needed to be done. And all I needed was the stuff in the ring that needed to be done. I was there was nothing I could have been more prepared for than where I'm going right now. And that's kind of how I see things. I've seen that, I, and, and that's kind of actually what um, Kevin, he's the guy, he runs the uh, uh, reality of wrestling. Um, pretty much everything there 
he kind of said the same thing, like, and it made sense. Like, you were doing everything you needed to do, just, you know, not the stuff, you know, not, not I mean, you were, he said you were doing everything you needed to do, but now you just needed to, you know, pretty much put it all together and work on it here in the ring. And, you know, even with YouTube, you know, getting more comfortable in front of the camera, because at first in front of the camera, when I used to vlog myself, I was a little awkward sometimes, you know, didn't really like filming in front of people. And now I'm myself in front of the camera. I'll say whatever, whenever, however, and I'm my goofy self. I'm, I'm able to be myself comfortably no matter where I'm at. And, you know, that's something that that's a skill, you know, believe it or not, that's a skill. A lot of people are very different. Uh, I can be myself wherever, you know, sometimes I might be a little bit more chiller, a little bit more hyperactive, you know, depending on my mood or how I feel or if I'm groggy or not, if I have my Snickers or not, like, you know, but either way, I have, you know, I have somewhat been always training in a way, you know, gaining all these skills, basically. So, um... Yo, catch me on live stream, twitch.tv slash, um, twitch.tv slash TV. Catch me on my live stream, man. We've been playing uh, Armor Core. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty lately. Got my hookah. Like, everything's good. But anyways, um, back to what I was saying. So, like, I've always been, you know, gaining the skills and characteristics I needed to uh, be a wrestler. And when I think about it, like, I don't really like football players or like basketball players like that. Like they're cool. I've hung around like in it, but the professional players, but my scene of people are, you know, the wrestlers, you know, those type of guys, the more the, the swole guys, you know, the, I mean like the, you know, how do I put this? The fit guys, but they're like nerdy and stuff as well. Like they're allowed to be themselves. They're, they're not, you know, so up in their ego all the time. I mean, some of them are, but the ones that I know aren't, you know, everybody's not like feeling themselves to a point. They feel themselves because they know, you know, who they are, but they still know how to have fun and still, you know, um, you know, in a slight manageable humbleness. Um, so I just feel like it's where I'm supposed to be, man. Like, I kid you not. Yeah, I was kind of I, I couldn't my first day of training. Like, I couldn't stop smiling because I'm just looking. I'm just listening and I'm just smiling. And I'm just like, like, yo, like this is I, I really feel like this is where I'm supposed to be. You know, I prayed about it too. You know, I've gotten emotional about it, dude. Like, it's it's crazy because it's just like these aren't things I really felt about football. Like, yeah, I got emotional when I was at the Jets, you know, uh, facility back in football because, fuck, you know, I'm in a Jets facility. I'm 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 right here, about to make it to the NFL, about to make you know, I can take care of my family, you know, finally, you know, and yeah, I got emotional with that. But other than that, like, no, nah, it's not the same type of feeling that I have for, uh for what I'm doing right now. Like, I'm not getting paid shit of anything right now, but I'm still traveling 40, 50-minute drive um, weekly to go train, you know, for two or three hours. So I'm super excited for where this could take me. Um, I just hope everything plays out correctly and I don't get screwed over in any type of way or I don't come across anything that makes me, you know, super uncomfortable or, you know, because... Um, yeah, you know, people go through a lot of shit, and I know there's a lot of shit in the entertainment business, and I'm just praying, you know, I keep my head down, I stay out of it, and I do my job, and take care of my family, take care of me, and let it be known, you know? So, uh, I think I kind of covered my topic for today, um, basically, like, why I'm going back, you know, to WWE, you know, the purpose, and why I feel like it's where I'm supposed to be, so... Uh, there's that, you know, let me know what you guys think in the comment section like and subscribe to this channel um, Keisha will be filming my next training practice so uh, you guys can kind of see me in the ring and kind of see the development and things so um, If you're interested in that definitely hit that like button subscribe um, Turn on notifications and I will catch you guys on the next video